Hey guys, I'm Jules from the Art Archaeologist, and we're going to start a new channel. Uh, the wife and I have eh, quite a big yard and have a lot of different things going on. And right now it's under reconstruction because, uh, believe it or not, I had a tetanus booster back in the spring, and it messed my left arm up. Uh, actually still the tip of my pinky finger, no feeling in it whatsoever. Uh, for six weeks after that shot, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and left side of my hand was actually numb which was not good since I am a musician that plays guitar that didn't help uh, anyway we do do a lot of gardening and we thought that we would um, start a little show here to show you what we're doing in the yard we are doing a heck a heck of a lot of upgrades on this place uh, today I'm going to show you how I lucked in to fixing a pump on a yard fountain Yep. Now first things first, you should always be safe when working in your yard. For example, take care of your feet. Unless you want to act like you're on a deserted island, don't give a flip. <laughs> Alright, so here's the fountain. Pretty good sized fountain, fiberglass course. Pump access is over on the side to the well. And uh, basically I thought it was dead, but it was just clogged up. Um, disconnect the hose, obviously you want to plug the unit, disconnect the hose, and then take the flow valve, gently spray down in there with some water, just pour it in, you don't want a lot of pressure. Uh, then you turn it upside down, tap it, tap it, and until you've got all the crap out, plug it back in. And so it flows again. But here's the thing, this is what we left into. Back here, if you look at that, I changed the original equipment to a household sponge. And the original equipment was a good filter, but a horrible, excuse me, it was a good uh, screen, but a horrible filter. The sponge is actually a better filter. Here's one. Clear, clear, clear. Mountain screen. Yep. So if you ever buy one of these, you might want to hit and replace their equipment with a household sponge. Should do the job and get it wedged in there nice. I love that. It's just a good size. Yeah. And in a future episode, I'm going to show you how to fix something like this. This is a fiberglass uh, fountain. And uh, it leaks as a slow leak. I can fill it up today. It's about 9 o'clock, I guess. And, oh, by midnight, the water will be so low, it won't pump. Now I have painted half the bottom once before with liquid cement. And you can see back there, there's still some dampness. Why is that? Well, because I didn't paint the front with the liquid cement on the bottom, and it's leaking. It wasn't obvious that it was cracked to me, so I didn't bother. Now I know. If you're going to do it, paint the whole rim. It's not that big. This thing's light as a feather. I'll drain that and paint it up for you and show you how that works out. Well guys, as you can hear, I went ahead and put water in that fountain. Now I have to be for another episode. It's just not a priority today. Appreciate you tuning in. And uh, we got a lot of stuff coming, a lot of gardening coming, some camping trips. Uh, show you how to crab and clam, actually, later in July, August. That's going to be a fun show. Uh, tell a friend if you like this kind of thing. And we're going to do one shout out an episode. And who better than Bill Gowdy? I love Bill Gelly. He's got a great, great show. I watch that stuff regular. And uh, he typically he typically ends his show drinking a bush beer. So I thought, well, you know, Bill, this ain't a bush. Miller Light, like three carbs. Good stuff, man. Oh, by the way, the music is mine. Check that out. There's links to Bill, links to my music, and links to other stuff down here in the description. Happy Father's Day. You guys have a great day. And kids love your dads. Peace.